Thursday because you've got a very important appointment later on today. You've got the Ted Rag Awards. Is it just awards or is it a big, big meet? Or tell it's me about a, that. It's a big award ceremony. I've got my invitation here, actually, Rick. Um, it's celebrating 10 years of Ted Rag. The trust has been uh, in operation now for 10 years. Um, and it's a really prestigious event. So we've been asked to make some nominations, a bit like the Oscars. We've been asked to make some nominations in various categories. So we've got all sorts of students and staff getting in minibuses and cars, going up to Exeter tonight. Um, I'm just lucky to be there, really. I've not been nominated for anything. But we've got you know, Teacher of the Year, Vicky Cargin. We've got Leader of the Year, Amy Toes. We've got the student band, the big band, who've been nominated as, as one of the student teams. Um, we've got a number of individual students that have been nominating various things and big staff team student services. So it kind of celebrates. It's a trust-wide celebration. But from a Lipson perspective, it pretty much celebrates every facet of our school, from the cleaning staff to the catering staff to the music to the English team. to You name it, we're kind of represented. So it would be lovely to come away with a couple of awards. But I think, most importantly, um, they're going to get a nice evening out. They're going to be well fed. It's a lovely venue up at Sandy Park. And it's, it's just nice for these people to be recognised. In most cases, Rick, just for what they do every day. Mm. So it is exceptional. I mm. think it's exceptional. They will say, it's, we're just coming in and doing our job or we're just coming in and being a member of Year 9. But I think they represent us absolutely brilliantly, these people. And am I right in thinking that the choir and the big band will actually be entertaining people there tonight? Yeah, so the big band have been nominated for one of the awards, but they, um, we've got students who are part of a 14-school choir secondary and primary and, and Nicholas Sylvester, our head of English has been instrumental, no pun intended, uh, has been a big part of putting that choir together. Um, and the big band are playing as people arrive. Uh, so, so even if we don't get awards tonight, we're very much part of the ceremony, so that'd be great. The big band's always been uh, a huge part of, uh, of Lipson, and I was I bumped into Gavin Martin, the music teacher this morning, and he told me they're having to turn away Christmas bookings because they are overbooked so with requests to come and entertain at Christmas they're actually they've got a full diary already yeah I didn't know that but it doesn't surprise me so as well as our own kind of concerts Christmas concerts I know they're asked to do one in the city at the church in the middle mm -hmm. they go to places like Saltram they yeah they are in demand um, and they're brilliant aren't they so I've said this many times though um, they predate me. They're part of the Lipson that was already brilliant before I got here. I can't take any mm. of the credit. Um, it's about the people that run it and the model that they've um, that, that they've that's evolved over the years, I guess. But yeah, they're a fantastic addition to the school, aren't they? They are brilliant, brilliant. And just to prove it's not all fun and games, we must talk about exams that are, are coming up. Uh, well, I was quite enjoying it. <laughs> that uh, the year 11s and year 13s, they have their what, what, what I call mocks, but what now they call PPEs, I believe. Yeah, so the year 11s and year 13s, both Mr. Me with the sixth form and, and Paul Boys with year 11s, they're delighted with how they've come back. We've got two pretty good cohorts of students, actually, so you won't be hearing any excuses from me this year. Um, and they've got their first set of exams coming up after half term. Um, they're already into their countdowns. They're starting their revision plans. We've got parents involved, um, and and you know tutors doing their bit, subject leaders doing their bit. So it's as always a real team effort. But I get a sense that the start of term this year has has been perhaps more focused than than, mm. than at any point during my time here. Mm. Uh, and that <laughs> one of the hardest things for a head teacher to do, in particularly in the climate that we're in now is making the main thing the main thing. It's a horrible cliche, mm. but it is really difficult to do. But we, we've always said we'll be defined by our results and we'll be defined by how many of our youngsters from the community, we can genuinely change their lives mm. and, 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 and open the doors in terms of their life chances. Um, that's our core purpose. Uh, but it is easy to be distracted. But what I'm most pleased about with the start to this year is that there seems to be a real common sense of determination and focus amongst the youngsters and the staff. So uh, touch wood, uh, so far so good, but we've got a long way to go yet. You've got a long way to go today, so we'll leave you to it. Get changed for your big night out and hope it goes well. What do you mean get changed? I thought I was, I'm already in my business way. I thought, thought anyway. it was formal, I thought, I thought a black tie job, but uh, you carry on. Thank you very much.